Yo, yo, welcome to Trippy Commentaries, and let's play Diablo 3 for the Xbox One. I'm RJ. I will be controlling a demon hunter named Joker. I'll have some long distance attacks, so I'll team up with Retro Brett, who will be a barbarian named Vader. I like it. Definitely sounds like a pretty good duo, and oh, I think yes. it's going to be a good combination. We'll also have some other members of the Trippy crew joining up to help out here and there, but we're going to attack this game on hard mode. We already started a playthrough on normal. I felt like it was a little bit too easy. Yeah, let's, it was pretty weak. Let's tackle this game on hard. That seems about right. Now, there are a couple cinematics that we have to check out first. Let's go ahead and jump into them. The first sign is uh, the first cinematic. So Gee, uh, let's see what we got going on here. Name there. This is what happens when you very first turn on the game. I have, uh, you know, of course fond memories of seeing this when I first got this game. This was actually, I waited off on playing Diablo 3 until the Xbox One version. And I remember when this first came on, seeing the graphics, it made me realize this is right at home on the Xbox One and the next gen consoles, or current gen at this point. <laughs> what do you think about the opening cuts? It's, it's very epic. That scene right there looks a lot like LOTR, Lord of the Rings. Very much so. And that, that one right there looks like the second Lord of the Rings where they're mm -hmm. uh, at the end where the horse lords are uh, coming over the mountain. Oh, yeah. And, of course, you have, like, the flying dragon things that you can see here in this cutscene. Oh, there's the uh, the angel, of course, mm -hmm. from Diablo 2. Battle of uh, Heaven and Hell is what's going on in this game, that's for sure. Now, is this, is that Diablo? Yes, I believe it is. Of course, it's just a dream in this case, but this is probably the most intriguing character in the game. Leah. Yes, Leah. And anyone who's played Diablo should know who that old man is. Yes, Deckard Cain. Does he have a lot of relevance in the uh, storyline? Of course, I haven't played Diablo 1 and 2. I've played you watch much of the storyline, but don't really have the grasp. Has he been a, a pretty main character? Yeah, well, he's the only character that's in all three yeah the only reoccurring character yes and leah definitely by far my favorite character in this one pretty epic how old do you think leah is she's got to be pretty young i like the little braid action I'm there saying late <laughs> teens maybe middle to late teens i don't know i don't know kind of looks like she has a dark side to her doesn't it um no we'll I, don't out, right? so. I don't think so I think she's all good. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see about that. Uh-oh. And here we have, looks like a huge meteorite coming down through the cathedral. I guess the storyline of this game, oh, she's distraught, of course. But you have the heroes that we're going to portray who saw this event happen, and we're just going to close in on the cathedral and try to find out what's going down. This is Let's Play... Diablo 3. Indeed. One of your favorites, Retro Brett? Uh, I would have to go with... Yeah, yeah, it's one of my favorites. It's gotta be one of your favorites, but do you possibly like another Diablo game more? Oh, number two blows this one out of the water. Not with graphics, but with everything else. This game is really amazing when it comes to graphics, that's for sure. Alright, so, Act 1. Now, there are five acts in this game, including the, the newest uh, DLC, which was included in the Xbox One. PS4 versions. In ruins. Death. Killed my sister. And left me frightened. And alone. Very evil imagery. You got the crosses. Until I was and these guys Rescue look like a bunch of badasses. Who had joined together to I don't want to fuck them. The <laughs> no, not at all. Kind of remind me of the ring race. Alright, so must resist the demons into a weapon. Love this art direction. I know we already kind of touched on it, but oh, it's that's just, your character. Yes, this is the demon hunter's uh, startup. You have a different startup for each character. Of course, I'm player one, so they're going to go with the demon hunter. Heading to a very familiar town here in Diablo lore. Yes, this one is 
uh, kind of close to Diablo 1. It, it shares a lot of similarities, whereas Diablo 1 was Tristram, this is new Tristram. Mm -hmm. And you go through all the old ruins and stuff with much better graphics. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. There's the first two intros. It is time to jump into the game. Let's start her up. We're going to be right here at the beginning, Overlook Road. And uh, it's pretty, um, you know, just a pretty slow start to the game. I think that they're waiting to throw hordes of enemies at you. They, they just want to kind of feel like maybe this isn't the same Diablo for those first-timers. But once you get into it a little bit more, you realize that this is Diablo in all of its glory. Oh, I think it's more like they they start out slow, mm -hmm. so you think you're a badass. Then, then you're like, nope. Fuck you, no, you're not a badass. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Go away, Fury. I am Joker. Let me in. Leah. So uh, we saw her in that cutscene. Let's go see where she is. Once again... Well, we have to... Uh, we gotta kill these pathetic zombies. Uh, we are going to be teaming up here with the long and close-ranged allies. I am a demon hunter who really specializes in long-distance attacks. And uh, the Barbarian, probably one of the best close-range attackers in the game, if not the My best. Hatred is too low. Well, it's the only one of the only characters that has been in all three. Like Under different names, of course. Yeah. We'll Here we are. What do you have to say for yourself, traveling scholar? Whatever. Looks like he's standing still right now, though. Let's move on. I do wish that there was a little bit more movement by the NPCs. You know, like, they could walk around the town. Why are they so stationary? Mm, yeah, Something that's... they definitely need to improve when Diablo 4 comes out, uh, what, 10 years later? I uh, that's optimistic. <laughs> Something doesn't look right about these guys over here. They look like they're holding their head. I came back here to rally the militia, but... Watch out! The uh oh I knew it. All right, because I uh, upgraded, it looks like they automatically changed my my special ability here, which looks pretty good. What do you think? Is this a good one to use early on? Well, anything you get new early on in the game, you use it. Yeah. Thank you. you should speak with Captain Rumford at the gate. He Captain Rumford. Let's head this way first. Uh, right. Retro Brett, we have Leah's room. Perhaps some uh, female devices in here. <laughs> Where's the vibrator? She, she's too young for that, man. So you think. All let's right, see, well, we have a book right here. It's Leah's diary. Any naughty things? Uh, just gave us some, my, me some experience. My is still missing. Oh, really? Captain Rumford and the others are losing hope. I tell them wonder if it's Fifty spend. Shades of Grey. <laughs> <laughs> it gave me some experience after all. So. Fifty Shades of Leah. Uh, let's see, I do have, of course, plenty of things in the stash from my other players, but it looks as if I will not be able to use this stuff, right? Uh, well, it's all X'd out, so... Yeah, that's you might be You'll be able to use it as you level up. Uh, where are we? Oh, yeah, we're going to Captain Rumford. Yep, we got to head back out here, and then there should be a trail up north. Rumford. To help fight the risen dead. I admire your courage, but Captain Dalton and the militia were slaughtered by those things. Only I survived. Don't worry. I will avenge their deaths. Let's go. Well, I have seen you fight. Strike at the wretched mothers and their queen. They're the ones vomiting. Yes, did you get that? Horrors. Yes. Strike at the wretched mothers. Or basically kill everything you see. Yes. In other words. Well said. Alright. Some more zombies. I like how it starts off with zombies. It gives the game different feel from what you eventually have to go against, which is everything ever from the paranormal universe coming after you. From gigantic spiders to uh, sacred ghosts. That's one of the things I don't... Look how beautiful this is. Oh, Not that, to that's... interrupt you, Retro, but this is one of my favorite sections that reminds me of how good this game looks. Oh, that, that's incredible right there. Mm -hmm. But as I was, to touch on your point, that's one of the things I really don't like about this game because you have monsters ten times the size of you. And most more often than not, you have like to do more than one of those monsters beaten on you. Mm -hmm. No matter how much um, armor you have, you're going to get crushed Ooh. if someone like that is beaten on you. So in, in that respect, 
it's not very realistic. All right, once we get done killing all these uh, undead dudes, not we should probably entry. check out what we're working with as far as special abilities. Like you said, the good thing is most of the time when you un unlock new stuff, you probably can just ride out with that and be pretty good. But uh, definitely going to be good to check out what stats we have here for our My characters. Is too low. Die. I cut you off. Damn. This is a stronger one. Well, we are in a harder difficulty. Another yeah, definitely going to get tough. And I feel like from my uh, experience with Demon Hunter, I really want to upgrade him as fast as possible. I'm not a big fan of the Demon Hunter early on. It feels like it takes a minute to actually get yourself powered up enough to uh, have a good strategy. The Demon Hunter is actually pretty weak up close, but his moves are so powerful from the outside that you know it's kind of worth it just to power him up and then you'll be fine later on. Well, I think that's the case with all characters. Mm -hmm. Everyone starts out slow, except for me. Um, I'm well, what, pretty badass. <laughs> what's the strength and uh, weaknesses from the Barbarian, you know? Um, I don't know. This Diablo 3 is so different than Diablo 2. In Diablo 3, it really doesn't matter what level you are as a, in regards to how much damage you can do. Mm -hmm. The only thing that um, matters with uh, leveling up in Diablo 3 is you can use new new equipment yeah no doubt and and this game is the only one out of three that you don't don't get to choose your attributes it chooses it for you which yeah, kind of kind of sucks i mean that's kind of weird but. yeah definitely a big change from diablo 2 i know that's why a lot of the diehards are certainly distraught and upset about that oh no i need healing uh oh this is hard beware Especially for me, of course. I'm a little bit more weaker than you, I'm sure. Oh, uh, they're cornering us. Make sure to use the right joystick, Retro, right? It gives you a nice little flip maneuver. And uh, the agility oh, no, definitely not helps. Again. I oh, I could do that. How do you, oh, I don't uh, have any more Left potion. bumper. I don't have any more potions. Get out of there. Don't die. No. Oh, they're fucking... Ah. Uh, they got you in a corner. And uh, it's tough. That's what I was saying. Early on, it can be certainly tough. The good thing is, when you when it comes to two players, as long as one of us stays alive, oh, son of a bitch. Get the back. gold. I got the gold. Oh, damn it. I thought they were all dead. Too low. Oh, I think you can get them. Let's go. It's taking a while to uh, give me my uh, potion. Uh, I can just foresee you being cor er, surrounded there, so get out of there. Die. All right, well, these bastards are taking an awfully long time to kill, but they're slow, so it's not too big of a deal. Well. What's up with the uh, the Demon Hunter's special ability? So it looks like both abilities take up... Or what's up with the ability on the right? Do I, do I not have that one yet? It looks like the dark blue next to the orange. Dark blue. Not on the bottom left where you have my magic meter there. Oh, uh, yes. One of them is called Discipline, mm -hmm. um, and I forgot what the other... Um, ability or other mana sources called, but you don't use a whole lot of the blue. You don't use a whole lot of that at all. You yeah. mostly use the red, orangish deal there. Mm -hmm. Now you should be able to. Can you revive yourself yet? There you go. Yeah, are. I'm stupid. I it was. Hey. I was looking elsewhere. It's it's gonna be hard. We're gonna have to bulk up. But uh, in this playthrough, I'm hoping that you know, as long as both of us don't die at once, we can make it through the game completely unscathed. More zombies, damn you. So uh, what do we have to expect here in, uh, in Act 1 Retro Bread? I know we'll be meeting Leah's mom. Uh, that's going to be one of the biggest events, right? My hatred is too uh, no, I think we meet her in uh, Act 2. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, oh, that's right. We just go to Leah's mom's uh, old house or hideout or whatever. Yeah, her, her old shop. or I think her old shop was the same as her uh, hideout. Yeah. Or her, her house. Hey, she was a uh, witch. Uh, of course, she was actually, what, like a salesman or something from Diablo 1? Sales witch. Sales, yeah, sales witch. So, uh, she's a known witch, certainly doing many experiments, and who knows what. I know uh, we'll see it here pretty soon, but when we go there, Leah reads her journal and says, It is certainly pretty disturbing. Something to that effect. I don't remember. I don't really pay much attention to the talking. 
Yeah, the storyline I thought was a little bit lackluster, so I could see why you really didn't care too much. But uh, I still like it quite a bit, especially when it's centered around Leah and, and her mom and uh, Deckard Kane. I feel like those characters definitely were pretty interesting for me. Other than that, there isn't a whole lot. We are coming up on the Wretched Queen in the Old Ruins, or something like that. We must kill her. Where is she? Uh-oh. We Hold have on, a uh, shiny one. <laughs> shiny We have a yellow one. It is the Wretched Queen herself. I'm going to distract this zombie over here, Retro Brett. Do your best to uh, take him out. All right. There's a zombie on your back. I got him. All right. Wretched Queen is almost dead. Well done. Nice. Right. It looks like we got some weaponry. So uh, I think this is a good place to leave off. Thank you guys for joining us for this episode. We'll make sure to upgrade our characters here just in time for the next episode. We have a lot more to do in Diablo 3. I think we have just hit the tip of the iceberg as things are going to get real evil here in D3. Real fast. Stay trippy, guys. See you in the next episode.